In a surprising twist, legal experts have raised concerns that Prince Harry might encounter obstacles when attempting to re-enter the United States due to his candid admissions of drug use in his autobiography. If the Duke of Sussex failed to declare his past drug use on his visa application form, border officials could potentially scrutinize him on these admissions, thereby jeopardizing his return to the U.S. following his upcoming trip to London, where he is currently embroiled in a legal battle against Mirror Group newspapers over allegations of phone hacking. Recent revelations have shed light on the fact that the U.S. government will be summoned to a federal court next Tuesday to address inquiries regarding Harry's visa application, prompted by his own acknowledgments of consuming cocaine, cannabis, and magic mushrooms. The Heritage Foundation, a Washington, D.C.-based think tank, has taken legal action against President Joe Biden's administration in an attempt to compel officials to release the Duke's immigration records. Raymond G. LaHood, an immigration lawyer at Norris McLaughlin, cautioned that Harry could face potential entry restrictions if he encounters an unfavorable border guard. If Harry had disclosed his previous drug use during the visa application process, a Customs and Border Protection CBP, officer would not have the authority to inquire further, as a decision to issue a waiver would have already been made. However, it remains unclear whether Harry indeed made such declarations. LaHood emphasized that every time Harry enters the U.S., he is required to undergo scrutiny by Customs and Border Protection, CBP. If there is a documented history of undisclosed drug use, any individual, including the Duke, can be refused entry. LaHood stated, if I am a customs agent, I have the right to answer whatever questions I want. If he has violated any law with regard to drug use, that's grounds to be turned away, regardless of whether there was a conviction. While LaHood believes it is improbable for such a scenario to unfold, even if Harry failed to disclose his drug taking, he acknowledged that the prince's status as a member of the royal family sets him apart from the average citizen. In this regard, LaHood concurred with the Heritage Foundation's assertion that Harry may be receiving preferential treatment due to his princely status. The think tank contends that an explanation regarding how Harry was granted entry into the U.S. despite his subsequent admissions of drug use is a matter of public interest. Furthermore, they seek clarity on how Harry responded to inquiries about his drug use during the visa application process. On June 6 at 2.30 p.m., a significant case is scheduled to take place in front of a federal judge at the U.S. District Court for the District of Columbia. The plaintiff in this legal battle is the think tank which had previously attempted to obtain public access to certain immigration records through freedom of information laws back in March. Unfortunately, their efforts proved fruitless, leading to the initiation of this court proceeding. Raymond LaHood, an immigration lawyer from Norris McLaughlin, shared his insights on the matter, stating that the outcome of the case could swing either way. Even so, he expressed his belief that the privacy rights associated with immigration records would likely outweigh the argument of public interest, resulting in the files remaining undisclosed. LaHood did, however, acknowledge the potential consequences of the lawsuit's publicity, as it could cast a significant shadow on Prince Harry's immigration record, potentially complicating the process of renewing his visa in the future. LaHood further asserted that if it is determined that the Duke failed to disclose his past drug use on his visa application, the visa itself should be revoked. The revelations about Harry's drug taking emerged from his autobiography, Spare, wherein he candidly discussed his experiences. From trying cocaine for the first time during a shooting weekend at the age of 17 to dabbling with cannabis after his initial date with Meghan, Harry did not shy away from disclosing his encounters with various substances. Moreover, he even shared his positive encounters with the psychedelic drug ayahuasca, describing it as a source of relaxation, release, comfort, and an enduring sense of lightness. In his interview with therapist Dr. Gabor Mate, known for his advocacy of decriminalizing drugs and employing Amazonian plant ayahuasca to treat mental illness, Harry provided these intimate details. While Harry's visa type remains undisclosed, it is plausible that he holds a temporary non-immigrant visa, such as an O-1 visa for extraordinary ability, which typically expires after five years. According to U.S. law, 
Non-citizens who admit to drug use or have been convicted of drug offenses may face potential restrictions on entering the country. In such cases, a waiver would likely be required to gain entry, a process known for its complexity and protracted nature. This could entail undergoing medical examinations, including blood and urine tests, chest x-rays, and interviews to ascertain whether the applicant has ceased drug use. Caitlin Davies, an immigration specialist from Davies Legal, highlighted the potential challenges that Harry could encounter at border control. While securing a waiver can take several months, it is unlikely to be pursued extensively in Harry's case, as his drug use admissions do not appear recent. Nevertheless, uncertainties lie ahead for the Duke as the legal proceedings unfold, potentially affecting his immigration status and future travels to the United States. The implications of Prince Harry's admissions of cocaine use are raising concerns about his prospects of obtaining a green card or U.S. citizenship. Amy Winehouse's denial of a U.S. visa in 2008 due to her well-documented drug addiction serves as a cautionary example, which led to her cancellation of plans to attend the Grammy Awards. Similarly, supermodel Kate Moss faced visa issues after photographs depicting her allegedly snorting a white powder, suspected to be cocaine, surfaced in 2005. Nonetheless, she managed to visit the U.S. in 2009 for the inauguration of a new Topshop store in New York. In light of these precedents, immigration experts have highlighted the potential impact of Harry's revelations on his immigration status. Amy Winehouse's immigration attorney, Caitlin Davies, expressed her opinion to DailyMail.com, stating that formal admissions of cocaine use, unless under exceptional circumstances, could severely hinder Harry's chances of becoming a green card holder or U.S. citizen. While the admissions made in his book may not be considered formal, an interviewing officer could transform them into formal declarations by addressing them directly during questioning. Niall Gardiner, the director of the Margaret Thatcher Center for Freedom at the Heritage Foundation, discussed the impending legal case against Prince Harry. He emphasized the importance of ensuring that Harry did not receive preferential treatment from immigration authorities, as any discrepancy between the information provided in Harry's immigration application and his drug use revelations in spare could have serious ramifications for his legal status in the United States. Gardiner emphasized that the release of Harry's immigration application would be beneficial, allowing the public to examine its contents. As the legal battle unfolds, the spotlight on Harry's immigration status and the potential consequences of his drug use admissions grows more intense, leaving many eager to witness the outcome of this case and its implications for the prince's future in the United States. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video entertaining, make sure to hit the like button Wait, and subscribe to my channel here, for more royal staffs like in the future. Thank you for your support, and I look forward to seeing okay, you all at the next watching one. Videos now.